George's hard disk has finally been accessed by Juliet, and what's within is just unimaginable to her. The idea that someday our children and grandchildren might be as shocked to see the blue sky, the green grass, and the flying birds, especially on a screen, things that we all first saw after opening our eyes as newborns, is both surreal and terrifying. That future is not what we desire. Coming back, Juliet Nichols must decide whether to live or die in Silo's 10th episode, which is also the season finale. Or is it do or perish? The reality. In order to display the clip to everyone, Juliet must devise a method. Danny can do this by connecting the drive to a signal booster, but doing so would notify Bernard, who has already discovered their position by tracking the hard disk and the in. By now, a security crew must be en route. Fortunately, she is aware of another route, the garbage chute. A signal booster is eventually reached, and Danny sinks the screen. All of the displays in Bernard's room start to play the video. We still don't know why he is so terrified of people seeing this, but he is astonished to see it. To order his followers to turn away from their screens, he must be some kind of insane person. Why would he prefer that nobody see it? Does he worry about a possible uprising that may occur if the public learns the truth? He is all turned off by him. But who can know from the stillness that at least 100 individuals saw the video? When Juliet is discovered using the garbage chute to travel, Bernard realizes she is doing so. Letting go is the only way to prevent being struck by the rubbish. And she complies. She has a little chance of surviving, yet she manages to do so. Juliet is being watched after by an angel or even Silo's very spirit. The workers at the recycling facility come to her rescue, and Knox and Shirley take her to Martha's house. Knox has unfortunately told the judiciary about it, which is essentially the appropriate move at this time since he cannot jeopardize mechanical as a whole for one individual. Juliet cannot be held accountable for whatever crimes she may have done. It is also accepted by Juliet. Juliet consents to being bound and gagged in exchange for learning the truth about George's death before Bernard and Sims, who are on their way with a security team. That, however, pales in comparison to what Bernard did, which was to destroy the hard drive. As he informs Juliet, we were right to assume that he is afraid of a rebellion. Juliet, though, is confident that Silo residents are capable of handling the reality. When he informs her that he doesn't share her optimism in this situation, Bernard could simply be speaking from experience. And the truth is that we are unable to bear the reality. We have never been able to, can't, or will. As shackles, the whole Silo observes Juliet Nichols as she ascends the stairs to the floor where she will be escorted to her cell. She's staying the night. She will leave the silo the following day. Because Juliet will essentially be dying while walking. Martha, for whom she is like a daughter, is in great anguish. For the first time in 25 years, she musters the strength to leave her room to take the appropriate action because she cannot accept it. At their encounter, she learns that Carla had produced a recording that was superior than the one Juliet took from the judicial. But what exactly is on a tape? Juliet is taken to the station where Bernard and Sims maintain watch on everyone in the silo. When they first reveal how George died, Juliet is in full disbelief. He was not killed. He committed suicide. Why? Maybe because he knew Juliet was the only one who could do it, but it was the only way to reveal the truth. The truth is worth life itself, as demonstrated by George's willingness to commit suicide if the truth were revealed. Following her placement in the cell, Shirley, Pete, and her father pay her a visit. They are aware that she will pass away. In regards to the supplies, Martha has sent her a message in secret. The tapes that are needed to secure the outfit that one must wear before going out have reportedly been replaced with Martha. How does it, however, matter? Does anything smell in the air? When Bernard finally runs across Juliet, he gives her a lengthy speech about how what she attempted would cause the silo to completely collapse. Bernard, who was asked about what she saw in the film, just dismissed it as one of the numerous unsolved mysteries left by the silo's founders, whomever they were. No matter what Bernard says, I cannot trust him at this time. He hands her Sheriff Halston's badge before departing. She will now finally understand the reality. What views outside does Juliet see? So the moment we dreaded but had been waiting for finally comes to pass. The silo is going to be exited by Juliet. A sizable crowd has assembled to see her, including her father, Pete, Martha, Knox, Shirley, and all of Juliet's mechanical colleagues. Two people assist Elizabeth in putting on the costume after Bernard reads her the elf. After being cleansed, she gently exits the silo and enters a very unfamiliar environment the azure sky, butterflies, birds, and the green grass. Before she trips, everything is stunning. It appears that the toxic air is having an impact. But it isn't until she rises up once more that we realize that Martha's tape may have actually been effective. The toxic air was unable to enter her armor as a result. However, that is not what surprises me. Everything changes when Juliet lays Halston's badge face down on the floor. Both the earth and Halston and his wife's bodies seem unreal. It's an imitation. However, where are the corpses? Indeed, they perished. Everything vanishes in front of Juliet's eyes and is immediately replaced by desolate countryside, which is equally bizarre as what she is experiencing. What is happening? On the horizon, buildings may be seen. But is this actually happening? We are confident about her safety. But what shocks her is what is in front of her. 
Juliet may be seen heading towards the desolate terrain as the 10th episode comes to a close. Bernard was concealing the truth when he said this. Thousands of individuals must be involved in each of them. This would imply that her suit's visor is computerized. In order to keep everyone in the dark, Bernard was employing it. However, the pre-installed clip on the digital visor ended for some reason. The viewer would have passed away before it ended. Therefore Bernard must have intentionally extended it for 3 to 4 minutes. But Juliet survived because of Martha's recording. What took occurred to cause this? What are the structures that can be seen at the far end of the area? Bernard, in the meantime, becomes aware that Juliet knows and returns to a server room to operate a switch with his key number 18. Can we use this to notify the other silos? There will be plenty of solutions in season 2. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.